It is essential that we have a clear breakdown of the number of citizens and non-citizens that make up the U.S. populations. President Trump issuing an executive order that would require government agencies to share any data they have on citizenship status. This is just one step in the president's fight to see how many undocumented people are here in the country. CBS Source Sandra Garcia is live in our Farm McAllen newsroom with more. Sandra. This comes after the Supreme Court ruled against the president's motion to include a citizenship question on the census. Now this administration is trying to find a way around that. We will defend the right of the American people to know the full facts about the population, size of citizens and non-citizens in America. The president's newest executive order means one thing. They're using this other uh, avenue that they're trying to, uh, to uh, impose, which is include a citizenship question with other agencies. Despite the Supreme Court's ruling against a citizenship question on the census, any information on someone's legal status could be gathered through other government agencies. With today's executive order, which eliminates longstanding obstacles to data sharing, we're aiming to count everyone. The citizenship question was met with controversy because it could affect an accurate population count with many believing that information would be sent to immigration authorities. When they get under, undercounted, those areas are then entitled to less representation, less number of, uh, a fewer number of Congress uh, men, a fewer number of state legislators, a fewer number of state senators, a fewer a number of representatives that will represent a particular area. And this next move has many wondering what comes next. And even if that were not to happen, there is a belief in the community that that's what he's trying to do. It's unclear right now how much of that information is actually in federal databases. Live in the Farm McAllen newsroom with Complete Valley coverage, Sandra Garcia, CBS4 Valley at 5.